Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. And this is your general love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to see what is going on with you guys in love. If this is your reading, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. Your extended bonus reading is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel? All right, let's jump right in. Let's see what messages we can get for my Taurus out there. All right, what is the challenge that Taurus may be facing in their love life? Spirit, angels, guardians, guys, messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus, please. All right, the challenge is the five of wands in reverse, okay? So the challenge is to overcome some kind of difficult situation. Maybe there is some um, fighting, arguing, okay? This is resistance of some kind, okay? I feel like this could be you and another person, okay? It doesn't have to be like physical altercation. It could be just some tension between you and an individual, okay? That's keeping you guys apart. Um, the five of wands can also speak about external forces, family, friends, okay? You're trying to move past some kind of situation. It's bothering you. Something's bothering you here for sure, Taurus. Now, in the current energy is the Ace of Cups. Um, some of you guys have a love offer coming in. It could be from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of you guys, you want love, okay? Right now, you're focused on getting your cup filled, okay? You guys want maybe a relationship. Maybe you guys will be entering a relationship very soon. We also have the Four Cups in reverse in the Death card. So in order to have this new love, I feel Taurus, you're really having to say goodbye to a situation where it just didn't work out. There was some kind of ending with regard to love, but death speaks about change, transformation, right? And I feel like there's something maybe about you, your way that you're looking at a situation, it is changing. I see the four cups here. So maybe you felt at one point something was a missed opportunity. You couldn't understand why it happened. You felt like you know, something was a big loss for you. And I feel you are moving past that energy. And now you're seeing this Ace of Cups. So some of you guys, you have a new love offer coming in um, after some kind of situation that came to an end in your life. Now, you can deal with the Scorpio. In the recent past, we have the sunrise in reverse. So this is that sun energy in reverse. So that speaks about something here not being hidden. Uh, something, I'm sorry, being hidden, right? You're not seeing something very clearly, a lack of illumination, a lack of enlightenment. You may have felt someone was holding something from you. A lot of you guys, it's just telling me it was also just like a fight or a challenge for you to find your happiness. The chariot in a verse with the three of pentacles in verse. It's telling me that there's some kind of connection where, you know, you just didn't see eye to eye with this person. And for some reason, it's like you couldn't move past that. You couldn't move past that. There was no victory with regard to a situation. You felt like you couldn't achieve something. Something held you back, okay? I feel like there's definitely could have been someone that you were really striving to move forward and be happy with. That Three of Pentacles in verse, it, it's telling me that maybe there were some compatibility issues or what you envisioned for your life. Um, they didn't share that same vision, okay? So let's see what is on your mind. We have the Knight of Cups in a verse. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have the Ten of Swords. Wow. So def definitely a very difficult ending you've gone through. I think a lot of you guys, it's still coming up in your energy because it's something that you're still actively moving past, okay? Someone may really could have hurt you deeply. And it's something that you're still thinking about. Mentally, it's taking a toll on you. But I feel like some of you guys, you may be wanting some kind of clarity from someone some of you guys you may be feeling that ten of swords because you just don't know what happened why something didn't work out the knight of swords you may be wanting truth um something um to to be revealed okay some of you guys you may be wanting communication from someone you may be getting it with the knight of swords it could be a gemini libra aquarius um i'm also seeing someone holding their cup now, this could be someone else in your life. This could be someone that you're connected to. You may feel someone is being stingy with your feelings, uh, their feelings or the emotions, okay? But this can also be you, Taurus. You may be holding back your cup and love from someone until you get the truth, okay? Until you get clarity on why something may have happened or ended very abruptly with the Ten of Swords. 
Now, in the foundation, we do have this Three of Cups energy, the moon, the world in reverse, and the strength card, Leo. I feel someone here has hidden intentions, okay? Hidden intentions, hidden desires. I feel like this person does not reveal everything to you. And that could be why you're in that Knight of Swords energy. You want truth. You want to know where you stand with someone. Now, I do feel someone here wants to get back to this good place with you. The Three of Cups could be let's come together, let's celebrate. But it's almost like they're not willing to address something head on. Maybe they feel it's too difficult with the strength card, right? The world in verse, they don't want to go back to a situation where it got really dark and heavy and difficult, right? I feel someone here is definitely very much, um, very secretive, okay, mysterious. They may be hiding something from you. We're going to find out what that is. But I do feel on their mind is coming back together. Three of cups in this happy place, happy home, um, you know, harmony. They may want to, uh, this is that dating card. Some of you guys, you may be dating someone in particular, three of cups. Or this could be about you getting together with family and friends as well. All right, let's see. But I feel like there's some kind of connection you have with someone that isn't entirely done because the world in verse is indicating that something you may have to revisit, okay? At least one more time because the challenge is to overcome some kind of difficult situation or argument or, you know, something here where, you know, something was not resolved the right way. Now, as far as the outcome, we have the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles. So a lot of you guys, I feel like there's something about you compromising yourself in some way, compromising your happiness, or, you know, you may you may go into a period where you're very emotionally drained and confused, but I see something promising coming out of it. I almost feel like there's some kind of new opportunity that you're going to be getting towards that you may not be seeing, but I think that something's going to become more clear as to why something here didn't work. The Ten of Cups in verse could be a home family situation that may have not worked out. But the Seven of Cups is like you're going away from this place of confusion to now clarity, right? The Seven of Cups in verse is clarity. You're no longer um, have this big uh, cloud over you where it's just like foggy and hazy and confused and you're not, you can't see something. This... Ace of Pentacles is something promising. This could be about you restabilizing yourself, working on, um, you know, you, your your investments, your money, your, it could be a new relationship coming in for you as well, okay? So let's jump right in. Let's get some more clarity for you guys. Taurus, if this is your reading, like, share, comment, subscribe. All right, the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Page of Swords. So I think that there's definitely someone here, Taurus, who wants to speak to you just as much as you may want to speak to them. In fact, I feel like there's a need to speak, a need to communicate, because maybe there's been like some on and off communication with the Page of Swords. This could be someone who's watching you from afar, but maybe afraid to speak their truth. There also could have been like a petty argument with that Page of Swords and Five of Wands. And so I feel like there's a need to finally speak up. Why is this um, Four Cups here? There's something that may have not worked out. Yeah, Ten of Cups and a Seven of Swords in verse. Now, there's some kind of family home situation or just a relationship that you thought you'd be really happy in. It's telling me that it didn't work out because someone here was trying to get away with something. I feel this is someone you feel you can't trust anymore. I feel like they may have blindsided you or went behind your back and did something that you didn't appreciate. I see that you found out something. And whatever you found out, it's telling me that there's something that came to an end. And I feel like you regret it. To some degree, but you felt it was necessary. Why is the death card here? It could be a Scorpio. Yeah, I mean, the the problem is that, you know, we have the two of cups and we have the six of swords in verse. A lot of you guys, you didn't want to put an end to this situation. Why? Because you really cared for this person. You really loved them. You saw them as your other half, your soulmate. And you would have never imagined you'd be in conflict with them the way that you are right now. I feel like something here happened very quickly. And I feel with the death card, um, yeah, very abruptly. It came out of nowhere. But the six of swords in verse is telling me that you can't entirely just let this go. Because there's still some kind of conflict that you and this person have not gotten um, a resolution to okay now why is this ace of cups the wheel in the verse now a lot of you guys this conflict with this individual is keeping you from experiencing new love in the current moment okay it's almost like it's blocking your blessing and offerings to new love okay the universe cannot bring you in this new lover until you resolve this conflict with this individual it's like nothing is working out for you in your love life because you haven't been able to really take care of something and get to the bottom of it now give me the sun in the verse 
we have the page of pentacles in the verse and the sun now something in the recent past came to light after being hidden for some time i feel like this is someone taurus with a page of pentacles in verse who hid things from you who may have um you know taken something okay possession wise or you may have felt like they were not contributing the way that you you know, contributed to this connection. This is someone who could have been stingy with their time, their energy, their efforts. Something here with the chariot in the verse was not victorious. The Knight of Cups in the verse with the Queen of Wands. I was just about to say something. There is another individual here. Now, typically, if I'm not doing a fire sign reading, the Queen of Wands is the other person. Now, some of you guys are dealing with someone who had a third party or was entertaining a third party, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands could be this mistress, male, female, doesn't matter. There, there's definitely someone here that they were offering love to or romantically involved with or in some way, or it was just some kind of distraction to them being able to love you and give you their full cup. So as a result, with the chariot in the verse, this was not able to really take off. It was not victorious and you were not able to achieve what you wanted. And the three of pentacles in verse, that's why you and this person were not on the same page because this person was focused on something else, okay? It could be a Leo, Sag, Aries. We got strong, strong Leo energy and we have cancer now i feel you 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 don't trust this person because we have that knight of cups in the verse what's this knight of swords and a knight of swords yeah you don't trust this person because you're in your head about something and with the knight of swords you want truth you want to know what happened you want answers right you want honesty and so with the knight of swords appearing twice taurus i feel this is your energy um standing in your your power and really wanting to get to the bottom of something because if you don't have the answers how can you really move on from something and get the closure you need right because there's some kind of ending with the ten of swords here that you're still going through because you haven't been able to release it and let it go. It's been keeping you late at, um, late up at night with the Nine of Swords, anxiety, worries. What is this Nine of Swords about? We have this King of Swords energy with the Ace of Swords in verse. So a lot of you guys, you feel this person has intentionally been holding things from you. This Knight of Swords, it's like, I'm sorry, the King of Swords here. It's going to be Gemini, Libra, Chris. You feel this person has um, lied to you, been very dishonest. And I think a lot of you guys are kind of at a point where you're done with it. You're sick of it, you know? So let's see what this uh, moon is about. There's a very secretive energy here. Um, Taurus, why is a moon card here? The world in reverse with the eight of pentacles in reverse. Someone here was definitely hiding their motives. I feel like this person was hiding the fact that they were invested in other people, other situations, other things. They were not making this relationship a priority. And the world in reverse is like almost like it's telling me this person may have been caught in another cycle. Some of you guys that were dealing with a past person, this three of cups energy, they couldn't... Um, they couldn't break away from some kind of past situation. Maybe this is like a habit or they're that kind of lifestyle. They wasn't ready to fully commit. Okay. Why is this three of cups here? The star and the eight of swords in verse. The thing is, is that this person with the three of cups, they do want to come together. They do want to get back on the same page. Just talks about celebrating, happy times, you know, sharing their cup. Um, you know, just going back to that happy place with you. They are hopeful with the star card that they can make that happen. They're wishing, they're manifesting, they're dreaming. Um, that that can happen again, you know, for you and this person, Taurus. I feel this person has some fears, okay, about being able to turn the situation around with the Eight of Swords because I feel like they are stuck. The world's in reverse. And I feel like you both cannot move forward until something here is fully addressed head on. And I get the sense this person may be afraid to approach you. Why is the Strength card here? Could be a Leo. I don't think this person's as confident. They're trying to regain confidence. Five of Cups in the Hierophant in the verse. Yeah, because this person knows that they screwed up. You know, this this Five of Cups is speaking about remorse, feeling guilty, feeling disappointed in their own actions, about not being able to fully commit to you. They broke a commitment. Maybe there was a marriage here with the Hierophant in reverse. Could be a Taurus. This person hasn't gotten over the fact that they let you down. And this is something they think about quite often. Okay, the guilt. Of, of what they've done so i feel like this person hasn't been released from you and you haven't been released from them okay and that's why it's more important than ever that you guys finally address something and have some kind of communication to challenge the five of wands and verse overcome some kind of conflict now let's see what this ten of cups and the seven of cups in the verse about i feel like there's a lot of emotions here Six of Pentacles and the Two Swords. Coming into the near future, there is some kind of decision you're having to be, um, you're going to have to really think about and make, 
regarding this connection. The Six of Pentacles is like, how do you want to invest in it? How much of your energy do you want to still give to this person, this situation altogether? Because I feel like there's something you may have to cut off. Okay, there's something that you are still emotionally invested in, hence why you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. If you were not emotionally invested in this person or situation, you would not be feeling this way. Sad, hurt, disappointed, unfulfilled, right? And I think you guys will be getting to a point where you're going to become more clear of what path you need to take to sorts. It may be very difficult for you, but I see that the time is now to make a head of a heart decision as to how you want to move forward. Do you want to release this person? Do you want to still energetically hold on to this person and be unhappy? So this Ace of Pentacles, um, this could be a new opportunity coming in regarding love. It could be also a career opportunity. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? The Hermit and the Ten of Wands. See, the thing is that the Spirit spirit wants to bring you this new opportunity in love, but Spirit is saying take your time because you're still carrying great burdens. Burdens from the past, hurt, trauma, disappointment, anger, emotional baggage, okay? So in order to have this new beginning, a promising, loving relationship, something committed, okay? It could be marriage, it could be a cup, just a relationship. You're having to really take time to yourself with the hermit, okay? Spend time with yourself, connect with yourself, do some deep thinking, inner work, okay? shadow work, right? The hermit is really taking time and um, really going with them, okay? So that is something that you're having to do and um, really focus on your intention okay so Taurus that is what I have like share comment and subscribe I hope you enjoyed this reading and I wish you the best take care